Okay, I want to talk about a spiritual shower. I just had a bath. I just washed my hair and I can't do a thing with it. No kidding. Spiritual shower. The Bible says we're cleansed through the Word. <clears throat> now, uh, it's, in, it's in the New Testament. The Lord said it. No, or did He? I know it's in the New Testament. I don't know what book. If somebody knows where it's at, I can find it later. I can look through my concordance. But if somebody knows where it's at, write it down for me, if you would, please. <clears throat> um, so, we're cleansed through the Word. Now, I don't, I don't think it meant literally we're cleansed through just reading the Word. I think it means we're cleansed through performing the Word. I'll tell you why. Because the devil knows the Word. The devil can read the Word. A lot of sinners out there, a lot of uh, agnostic unbelievers, atheists, they read the Word of God. Uh, but they read it just to try to prove that it doesn't, and that it's not real, and that it's that it's useless. <clears throat> so we're cleansed, and you know, and the and the thing that I notice, you know, you know that feeling you get when you're clean, when you go take a shower. And you, uh, you sit down. You just, you just feel like something good. You, you can relax. You know, I've got to the point where I can't sleep very well unless I take a bath at night. You know. And uh, over the years, of course, I do it every day, and I have done it for a long time. Just in case you're wondering, <laughs> okay. <clears throat> and not against anybody who don't shower every day, but I'm telling you what, I feel better when I do. Okay. So, but this is what I'm saying, that, that really nice, clean feeling that you get when you're clean and it, it helps you relax and you just know everything is good. Well, that's what I'm talking about spiritually. See, there's a way that you can get to that place spiritually. And it is by reading the Word. And it's, it's not just by reading the Word, it's by letting the Word become a part of you. You believe the Word. You decide to believe the Word becomes a part of you and it just lets you know that everything's okay. That things are good again in the world and, and they can be good. Uh, I know not everything is good in the world. That's not what I'm saying. But it has a potential. And something inside of you is right again. Excuse me. And it just makes you feel good. Makes you, makes you feel clean, or, or re allows you to feel clean. That's why every Sunday morning, man, there's a lot of people. They just they go to church, and they they're after that feeling, and and sometimes they get just a little bit of it. They go in, they get they get close to the Spirit of God, and they hear the preacher talk a little bit about good things, having all that makes them feel good, and for just a little bit they. They're cleansed, you know, just for a little bit. Even some people who really don't, um, hasn't accept Christ, they still get a little bit of that feeling, even though they're not cleaned. They get a little bit of the feeling of a of a cleanness, and they keep coming back. and And that's what happens when you get saved. You get to that place where you want to feel clean. Some people don't want to feel clean. You know, some people, I know people, man, that never take a bath. Oh, my goodness. They just, and you get around them in the, sun, the hot summer days, and, ooh, baby, I'm telling you what now. <laughs> it will knock you out. But <laughs> Christ comes to clean us up, to make us not just feel clean, but make us clean. And not only that, but have your cleanness to rub off on others. Isn't that something? Normally, cleanness don't rub off on others, man. <laughs> normally, normally, dirt rubs off on the clean. But it's a spiritual thing, so it's different. So taking a spiritual shower, my, you know, I, I take one uh, sometimes three or four times a week. Now, this, I, I'd like to take one every day. 
if I can. I try to find that place with God and get some spiritual insight. I, and sometimes it's like sometimes it's like I don't have any soap. You know, I'm cleaning without soap. Sometimes it's like I don't have soap or water, but I just go and stand in the shower. <laughs> and there's just, but it, it seems like God decides when, when He wants to give that spirit out that you'll feel clean. And almost, but almost every Sunday in any church, the Bible says two or more gather together, there He is in the midst of them. And that's true. Sometimes I can just sit down and and the Lord will be there. Sometimes I can um, get out my guitar and start singing and and start feeling good and <clears throat> and man, it's just like the shower comes to me. You know, <laughs> I don't have to go to the shower. The shower comes to me. But it's really it's really a good thing, man. A spiritual shower. Let me tell you what. It's a thing that you can get addicted to. A lot of people have. Some people get clean, and after a while, they get used to being around clean, and they and they just sort of neglect to take a shower. A lot like like the television evangelists, they they start dwindling away from God, and they forget they forget where the shower is. You know, they just simply forget. Alrighty, we could talk all night about this. God bless you, though. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you again next time with another great subject right here, Cross in the Middle Ministry. God bless. Thank mm -hmm. you.